The building at 1077 Market Street was constructed in 1912 as a theater called the Imperial. It is now called the Market Street Cinema and is currently an operating strip club. Since its opening, the Market Street Cinema has had a history of paranormal activity. Just months before our investigation, the Ghost Adventures crew investigated the Market Street and had some interesting experiences including an encounter with a malevolent entity. Many people who have worked at the Market Street have witnessed strange events. Four people have died in the building, two strippers and two handymen. The two most prominent entities are the handymen, James and Gary. James resides in the old projectionist booth at the top of the theater, and Gary resides in the basement. Both entities are blamed for harassing and even possessing some of the staff. Charles Webb, a local and longtime filmmaker, produced the G-String Horror, which was filmed here. Charles was our guide and related several stories surrounding the Market Street Cinema. Gary was a janitor caretaker uh, who they let live in the back basement, which we're going to go see now. He and another guy uh, at separate ends of the thing. And he worked part time, and so uh, he also did a lot of drugs. And so he, he died of a heart attack, uh, maybe from too much meth or something. And uh, over the weekend, and, over, and he fell on the floor near the stairs. And over the weekend, the sump pump uh, crapped out, no pun intended. And the, the basement floor was flooded with sewage, like this deep. And so it covered the body. And then when they, they fixed the sump pump, the sewage went down, they discovered the body sealed to the floor. So they had to peel him off the floor. Uh, that's the story. But I mean, you know, that, that actually happened. But one of the things that's heard repeatedly, and a number of the uh, dancers who've worked here have told me this story, of uh, a dancer who worked here years ago who uh, had a, a miscarriage in one of the bathrooms. Oh, I was just and you hear the, the crying of the baby in the bathroom. That's, oh, wow. That's that bathroom there. We immediately went back to our base and began setting up our equipment for the investigation. We utilized the following equipment during this investigation. A video camera with night vision capabilities that can record images in very low light conditions. A digital recorder that can record a wider band of sound including some frequencies that cannot be heard by a human ear. These types of recordings are called EVPs, or Electronic Voice Phenomena. A PSB-7, or Spirit Box, which is said to allow entities to communicate through the white noise by scanning 10 radio frequencies per second. And finally, the millimeter, which documents fluctuations in the electromagnetic field. There are many causes for these types of fluctuations. Many consider them to be indicators of paranormal activity. We started in the tunnels at the basement level. This is where we set up our static night vision camera. This camera captured several unexplained shadows. We began exploring the tunnels. During this time, we captured several orbs and a few EVPs. Listen. At this point, I went into Gary's room and recorded some EVPs. My name is Mike. Who are you? What? Gary? What 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 did you say? Hey. 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 This voice is similar to ones we have captured in our Goldfield Hotel investigation, also saying the word hey. Eventually, we went back up to our base and then entered the members only club. 
we sat down and placed the spirit box on the stage. This is where the paranormal activity started to spike. That sounded like my voice. Are you dancing for us? something Say, get out. If you want us to get out, say, get out. Shout it. Just said, get out. Just said, get out. Who is it? Tell us your name. How many spirits are here? We left the members only club and walked around the main stage area and captured some more EVPs. Who's this girl? Whistling? I can't. I thought I heard some whistling. We continued through to the exterior of the club and into the remnants of the old theater. This is the area where James lived. <laughs> Did it say watch out? I think so. We then moved into the basement area where the handyman Gary died of a drug induced heart attack. After he collapsed, the plumbing system failed and covered his body with raw sewage. By the time someone found him, 
they had to peel them off the floor. This is where we captured our final piece of evidence. Back up about 15 seconds, I thought I heard something in the air. Sound. Looks like something blowing. The evidence we recorded clearly demonstrates a high level of paranormal activity occurring at the Market Street Cinema. The search for the truth continues.